Hi guys, so this is Regan Ilagod, your system developer. So time check. Uh, this is June 16, 2020. Tuesday, uh, 8:29 a.m. in the Philippines. So I'm going to show you one of my example of my running system. This is what you call point of sale for primary C management and inventory system. Okay, so I am using vb.net and mysql as my backend. Okay, so here uh, this is my example of user interface. So I already logged in as the cashier. So uh, we have two options of login or access. We have the administrator and the cashier. Okay. So as you can see here, so I'm going to explain all the details here lately. Okay. So for the first time or the beginner, sa mga wala pang flow for the POS pharmacy and inventory, so this is uh, I recommend this is the flow of your system. Okay. So here I'm going to add more products. So I have three products entry. Okay, so I'm going to log out. Okay, so I'm going to log in this the admin. Okay, so first I'm going to add manage products. Okay, so as you can see we have the the entry details items record we have this because we have three the 270 to total the stocks so i'm going to add product so for example i'm going to click this and for example here um, or if you have the barcode reader then and so on okay. for example boss coupon can leave classification as blank okay type depends on you either um, this is uh, medicine for example formulation the grams for example 20 grams saving price we have 13 so uses then So it will add that then the items not updated when you back and it will update. So if you log out then it will it. so let's add more. Okay.
So we have all the information information. Okay. So we have the price, the stocks, uh, the image, the barcode, and the description. Like for example, if you want to add another, like for example, here the call gate. We have 90 stocks. If you uh, add another call gate. So I'm going to add, so I'm going to type the barcode, so the barcode of the call gate will be 333, so we have here, so stocks, we include 25, so we have 90 plus 25 will be become 115, okay, submit, yes, so here we have the strong Okay, here 25 and 9, uh, 90. Okay, so I'm going to back, so it will become 150. Okay, so it will change the stocks. Okay, so how to uh, add products to your shopping cart? So, for example, so you cannot click the price either the stocks image or the barcode but only the description for example we have the verse 3 I'm going to click so it will add the quantity so if you click uh, erase that so if you submit then please input quantity okay so either I'm going to change that into 3 so it will become 3 so verse 3 is 8 stocks from the previous so it will deduct 3 it will not update it once the 
uh, shopping cart uh, release the sales invoice number like for example here we have 37 is because the price of the verse 3 is 9 the quantity is 3 so 9 multiply, multiply by 3 it will become the 37 so like for example I'm going to cash tender so if you cash tender is blank submit then please enter amount or zero or you cannot input any letters only numbers only or if you type 20 then the is higher the grand total then you don't have enough so for example 50 want to print then you can click or if you want to set up automatically print then it's okay so back when we back the verse 3 uh, will become the 77 okay it will auto update let's for example another uh, don't press so I'm going to search uh, burger oops must lay okay click sample 4 okay. so to erase then so if the customer does uh, another one call gate for example 1 uh, literally we have 6 to total so like for example, the customer wants to add more uh, bare rental plus in, it will become 6, then you must add 2. So if you click here, it will tell, please use change quantity. It means if you click this from the previous, then you can go select the change quantity instead. Okay, I'm going to click here. Okay, then change quantity, then it will become 6, it will become 6. Okay, so cash tender, for example, okay. Okay. So if you want to reprint your invoice number, then you can go here. Okay, so select. Then select here or if you select the date then it will change. Okay. Else? For example is uh, measurement cobalt straight. So if you want to discount this item, for example, click here, then item discount. So we have the subtotal of 516. If you want to discount as the percentage of example 12 percent type 0 0.12. So that will become subtotal. Okay, submit. Okay. Wait. Another one. Here. Fine. Or if you want to change the discount, it can be possible. Okay, so for example, for 50, uh, this is the subtotal, right? But uh, it will go back all the previous. For example, I'm going to add only 6%. So, okay, the total will be added. From the previous, okay. Is it correct? So once again, two multiply by three. So that is five hundred sixteen. Uh, multiply by zero point six thirty. Oops. So six. So, 0.76 okay, so 
I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm going to add card. So here, uh, this means is counter 88. If you have two or more devices, then it will change the another number. So for example, this is the your first PC is counter 88. If you have a second device, so that will be a count, uh, counter uh, 80, 81, or it depends on you. Okay, so so that it will not conflict your uh, invoice okay so here we have the sales invoice when click here okay from 2330 total the monthly sales okay the yearly sales total sales okay so all, all we have all the information here okay so now I'm then going to log out Okay, so if ever, oops, I will show the cashier. Here, the cashier, you can uh, select or change your profile picture. Okay, I'm going to duplicate the image. Okay, if you want to select a photo in your desktop, for example, here. Same as the admin, then click the image, then change password or take a photo. Okay. So here, man, uh, manage unit. This will become the unit of your um, product. For example, bot. That means bottle, the box, can, keche, so kaha, so from the cigarettes, kilos, puck, pieces, and rib. Okay, if you want to add manage, then you can go here. Then, manage account. Okay, so we have three manage account. So, only we, ha uh, we only have one administrator and two cashiers. Okay, so the status must be approved. So, if you create the another cashier, uh, it must be approved it's because if you if the new user uh, will have a status of uh, appending then it will not be plugged in your system for example I'm going to type e. so B, B. for example I'm going to type then, then recovery code. Recovery code means if you forgot your password, that it, you have the second option of your recovery code. Okay, so B. So this will be the I. So if you want to take a webcam, so password did not match. So it's because it will have the same. Uh, did not match the uh, password. Okay, for example, we have the same. Okay, welcome. Okay, so you're welcome. If you have the uh, cool welcome, then is it okay? Then I'm going to capture you. Okay, so we have the. If you click this, okay, then this will be your profile. If you change that so another click so here so I'm going to click okay then your account is being added 
the back so here some as I said earlier the status of the new user will be pending so if you log in the B then enter password okay. you must approve the administrator uh, status so for example we need to status here change it into approve so we have block leave or pending so submit so the username or password of the administrator it will change to approve so let's back okay so we have the items okay another one we have the dashboard report okay so you can see here the daily sales monthly sales yearly sales uh, as you can see from the previous we have the daily sales that is for the cashiers uh, here this is all the cashier for example you have uh, five cashiers and uh, or five counters in your system then it will total all the uh, grand total so so here June 16 June 16 will be the sales invoice yung uh, in add cart natin kanina if you click the 15 or more than then it will change the daily sales into zero it's because of the June 15 the monthly sales is not become zero it's because we have the June 20 uh, June the month of June in the yearly sales we have the year 2020 okay all the year 2020 here grand total ang total sales ang pagkakaiba ng yearly at saka total ito yung all the years so for example 2021 2022 2023 2019 so all the grand total uh, it will show here so here as of now um, we only show the year 2020 only so the discounts kanina we have 30.96 if uh, you uh, yung kanina pag discount so it will total here so turnover cashiers all cashiers here it's the same as the total sales here kita nyo dito so total so for example lahat yung nakaregistered na na cashier na naka sales invoice makikita na dito okay Says nothing, so quick. Hey, so here, so all totals na ito. So, kikita dito sa all cashiers and the admin. Okay, monthly sales. Okay, and totals. Okay, so, 
So, inventory reports. Meron tayong sold item stocks. So, yung uh, sold item stocks, ito yung all the ad cards from the cashiers. If you remember, yung mga sales invoice natin. Yung na-add natin sa cart. Yun. Available stocks, yung naiwan natin sa ating products entry. The filter date. Like for example, the, I'm going to show the from the May 1 up to May 15 bad orders yung mga expired natin yung mga uh, hindi na magamit or hindi na ma-sale ng products list of product entry yung nandito sa product sales natin okay yung group of product entry for example yung nag-add tayo ng uh, another same for example here yung Colgate Okay, so, masam na yung 90 at saka 25. Katong, yung list, yung individual. For example, Okay, so we have here, so Colgate and Colgate, we have 90 and 25. So, yung group natin, Oops. Okay. So, yung full gate natin. Full gate. So, it become 150. So, ito na yan. So, nag-roof. So, bad order natin. So, wala tayo ng bad order. Okay. So, salt item stocks. Okay, so ito yung nasolve natin kanina okay. so if you remember so ito yung the total and available stocks yung naiwan na for example ax the previous here will be 100 so naha meron siyang nahali ng 1 so ito na yun okay else so filter date for example so all of these will be June 16 for example June 1 to June 5 and search so wala siya pag print ok so wala siya so we're going to June 16 Kita, uh, June 15 to June 16, so print. Okay, so nandito. Ito yung PDF. Dito siya makikita sa C, Users public form admin uh, administrator kasi okay so if you click pdf file okay So I think I don't uh, get the Where is it? For example here Okay, it will work 
So, PDF file. So, nakikita dito. So, nandito yung mga dalawa stocks natin. So, ito na yun. Okay. Same. If you go, uh, click the PDF, it will uh, put here in your drive C. Okay. So, back up natin. So, mag-back up natin. Doon pa rin kita nyo dito, ito yung previous natin di database, place natin so yes so we will take 1 or 2 minutes successfully so kita nyo na dito ok next uh, restore safeguard it means the admin, uh, the owner uh, or the administrator that uh, wants to buy my system only the system developer can lock in the restore ok example I'm going to type the password okay so here so that example same door self if you type the wrong safeguard so invalid safeguard okay so I'm going to type in okay so here we have a cache of other matters so, ito yung bad order natin. For example, so if you search barcode or generic, for example, here, uh, Nestle Durbanable Plus, meron tayong stocks na 84. For example, dalawa yung bad order natin. So, it's 5. It's cancel order natin. So, dapat ito magiging 82. Ito ko yung stocks dito. Then, kikita dito sa bad order. So, inventory, bad order. Bakit yung print natin? Okay, yung tagal. So, ito yun. So, prepared by BB. Because this is the name of the cashers okay. or here if you forgot the password for example B uh, the username will be blank then if you click forgot your password then please input your registered username and password for example here so invalid username so i'm going to type the correct username registered okay so recovery code if you type the wrong incorrect recovery code so the recovery code of b is b submit then the default password here so it will be changed so if you lock in the previous password then it will correct incorrect so here the B password, okay, you cannot, you cannot see the password of B, okay, so, so that's it, thank you for watching my YouTube channel, please uh, subscribe, like and share, so, marami pa akong system na i-upload, kaso na marami pa rin ako ng clients na create so pasensya na po so, thank you thank you very much yun lang po